Going to ring first. Put that in there. Our bent out ring here with the outer edge that's bent out pointing outwards here. That should be pushed up flush against the other ring that's in there. If I can get it on there properly. There we go. And then of course as I was telling you earlier there's a special fiber as the first one. If you look at it it's actually got a thinner ring around it. That's the one that goes in first. The way I took it out is there's a notch here. The notch should be pointing outwards. Uh, put that baby on there first. You'll see that the washers sit on the inside of that fiber. So that's why that one has a more narrow miss to it than these other fiber plates. Because it sits inside that first fiber plate. So then it's pretty much just domino effect. Fiber plate, then you're going to put in a steel plate. There we go. Look, look, look. There we go. Sit that baby in there. Some people ask if the notches matter, which way the notches are aligned. I don't believe it does. I didn't read anything or see anything that said that they had to be a specific way. So I'm just putting them in there. However they line up. As you can see, these things are still very well drenched in oil, stripping all over the floor, which is good. You want to make sure that they're nice and wet whenever you install them. Somebody give me something to sit this down on. Just ride them. Install these and I don't have to tell them new here. Oh. Well, I don't want to ride because it'll soak some of the oil. It's plastic. I'll just go at it. It might take me a little bit of time, but I'll get there. Yeah, I'll just cut this. Or speed it up. Make it look like I'm super fast. Speed demon! Come on, that plate. Sit down on that plate. Sit down on that plate. Looks a lot easier than it is, I promise. And as you can see, we're coming near the end because we're starting to run out of room here. And now it's stacked. So after we have all the clutch plates and fibers in, we the next step, which is, I don't know the correct terminology for it, but basically the clutch cap or clutch up here. So this will sit over the top of our plates here and one cut that now the run. Yes you can. And we're I'm gonna wipe it up and clean it up before we stick it in there. But one of the important things if you're taking this off is not to lose this. This piece of equipment right here, which has a very fancy looking uh, bearing on it and one washer. So there'll be a washer down here, bearing, and then we'll sit on top of it. And so what we're gonna do here is I'm going to clean this up, put some oil on it. So, washer first, which I just doused in oil. I want it to be nice and lubricated. Then we put in our bearing, which you need to make sure and check that it's still nice and in great condition, which this one is. It doesn't have a whole lot of miles on it. And after that, we're going to put our dried pin in here to top her off. Put this baby in here first to make it a little bit easier for me. And then I'll put the washer on that. That way, I'll line them up. So there we go. Now that we have that on there, we can start to put springs and bolts back in. Springs on this particular bike should be about two inches in length. If they're not two inches link, if any of the springs are not to specifications that the service manual specifies, then you need to buy all brand new springs. I was fortunate enough to where I did not have to buy any. But yeah, the, the process that you want to do with this is you want to get one bolt in at a time in a star formation. So we'll get this one started here. So I got that started as you can see it's putting pressure on it. And grab another one here and put it completely across from that one. That way you distribute the weight evenly. Just like a spare tire. Just like a tire, yes. So we got a power drill set for three pounds of torque. Yes. I just want to get it up there to the level where it's close enough for me to use the torque wrench on it.
right. Now we can use the torque wrench to make sure that we get it to the exact specifications that are necessary. You want to uh, make sure you're doing before you put the gasket and the cover back on is that you clean all this gunk and shit off of here. How much torque is supposed to be on there? I believe there's seven foot pounds. Again, we want to kind of install them, separate it out. Just kind of get a little spread. Hey, Dad, we you use that uh, sheet of paper? Right now I'm putting them on with about two pounds. You switch it from HD to standard, and then it would match up to this. This is the funny one. She's <laughs> part Mexican. Part Mexican. What do you think? Success. Success. Total success.